He's too damn cute. <laughs> yeah, too damn cute, Franklin. Just out for a stroll this morning. Out on the acreage. A lot of folks have asked if they could see more of the property here. So Frankie and I are enjoying the morning out on a little trek. Thought I'd take you all along. You know, I've only showed you guys a few spots from time to time where I hunt, but I'll show you what the acreage is like. It's a lot of walking to cover this. I've got trails all over the place, as you can see. Coming up on an area here where it's kind of more young forest, mostly hardwoods. This is a nice little knoll here. I've always liked this down there. It's all fairly open hardwoods. Then I'll have groves where it starts getting more mixed forest. A big old tree there. I'll have to harvest that one. Some good firewood in that. Get my machine in here and harvest that. That's some good firewood right there. Not gonna let that go to waste. This area in here is very deery. Anyone who's a hunter knows what I'm talking about. I'll pan around here, you'll see what I'm saying. See how deery it looks in here? Lots of cover for them. Beautiful area, yeah. Lots of cover for the deer in here. They like this, it's a good area. Just coming up to a brushy meadow. That's a really nice hay field up there. Just hayed every year. This one here, I used to have a food plot in here. And over behind me, I left that area grow up into bushes. It's really good for the songbirds. A lot of meadow larks and stuff like that nest in there. So I left that for the birds. And this I brush hog from time to time. That's what I'm talking about. Right where I stand, since there's no leaves in the bushes, I can see five bird nests from this spot. Birds really like it. It's good habitat. I'm glad I let this area grow up for them. Nice to have them around. This is one of my favorite areas of the woods because the trees are so dense and the canopy is so thick it doesn't really allow for any undergrowth as a forester's perspective you would want to thin it out and let the new growth but I like it I like areas like this it's pleasurable to walk in the hunting's really good it's nice it's nice areas. So I got a few like this and then some young forest and some mixed forest, brushy lowlands. It's just a nice mix. It's really nice. Come on, Frankie. <laughs> Another big hemlock. That's a big old tree, huh? Beauty. It's nice to have a few big ones around like that. Yeah, they're nice to look at. Fisher track, yeah. Frankie's checking out coyote tracks. These are all coyote tracks all over the place. Coyote droppings there, you see it's full of deer hair. Yeah, all hair. A lot of coyotes around. They have their place on this earth, but since they're on top of the food chain, they don't have any 
natural predators, that's where man has to step in and just cull a few back from time to time. Keep it all healthy. It's tough on the deer out here when the snow gets deep and there's a crust on top and the deer break through the crust and the coyotes can run on top. I find a lot of mutilated carcasses out here. It's where you just got to keep them out of balance and everything's fine. What do you think? You don't like that coyote turd? <laughs> And this is my pine grove, one of them anyway. Beautiful, tall, straight timber. This is where I get my lumber from. The bobcat track there, and there's a fisher track going that way, and a bobcat track going that way. And Frankie is checking them all out. Got a fisher track going one way, and a bobcat track going the other way, and Frankie tracks all over the place. <laughs> Now I'm on the opposite end of the property for a good half a mile from that hay field. This is on another marsh. Some old beaver huts out here, but there wasn't any beaver in here this year. It's too bad. I like having them around. These beaver lodges are built to last. Huh, Frankie? The lodge inspector. Got turkey jerky. Hope it's better than that duck jerky. <laughs> I want to show a few things that have come in. Um, just before Christmas, I got a nice box in the mail from Jackie and Oliver in Ontario. And I want to share with you guys. And it's, uh, when I opened the box and I saw what they sent me, it really touched me and for several several reasons, and I'll explain. I think you had enough. <laughs> All right. Before I show you what Jackie and Oliver sent me, I want to kind of bring you behind the scenes and let you know why this touched me in the way that it did. I mentioned in my last vlog series how I I grew a lot in 2016. Um, what I mean by that is about a year, year and a half ago, I started in on kind of a spiritual journey, not religious, a spiritual journey, where I'm always trying to improve my life. Even though I have a really good life, I'm always trying to improve it. And I but always wanted to do meditation and I'm just too busy brained for that. So finally I started meditating to certain audio tracks and finally found success with it. Certain music and one thing that I found that worked good for me was shamanic drumming. That repetitive sound would help me channel my thoughts to a really good place, kind of dump out all the crap, channel my thoughts, and it helped me tremendously in so many ways. I never told anyone about the drumming. And over this last year, you saw where I started playing the Native American style flute. I developed an interest in that, but not from listening to flute music because I never listen to audio tracks with flutes in it. Not really. Maybe there'll be a little hint of it, but I don't seek it out, you know. I just, I just started playing the flute and it was a really moving experience for me, especially when I'm out in nature. So I thought the drumming would be kind of cool and it was working really good for me with the meditation. So then a box arrives, and there's two of these handmade, I always call them shaman drums, but they call them Daywagon, which translates to the living heart, which is really cool. These are all handmade 
out of all natural materials, it's just pine. You got something else to do? He sees the drums. He doesn't want to listen to it. <laughs> this is deer skin, and it's stained with walnut hulls. So it's all natural materials from the woods, which even means more to me. The sound is incredible. It reverberates through the house. So there's this drum here, and this one here different sound. You just hear that vibrating in the house here. And that repetitious sound when I'm in the zone can almost put me in a trance-like stage and within 48 hours or so after a good solid meditation I have more clarity than I've ever had in my, in my whole life. Not everyone will be able to relate to that. My older sisters are really big into researching our genealogy. They're always digging into the family tree. And the last time that we visited together, they were here, and then they went over to Canada, across the St. Lawrence here, to um, meet some of our distant relatives. Now, I knew that our ancestors come from Canada originally, but that's all I knew. Um, when my sisters returned, they brought back all kinds of cool information, and I found out that there's Mi'kmaq Indian in our blood. I never knew that. I don't think my dad even knew that. No one ever spoke of it. So to learn that, I thought was really, really cool. And then it was like all the pieces of the puzzle were starting to come together. I had more understanding of why I feel like I do and my appreciation and my respect for nature and, and just the underlying makeup of who I am was explained there. And I, I was just really moved by it. So... I find that out and these drums appear and all this cool stuff. Now you can blow it all off to coincidence or you can take the pieces of the puzzle f for a deeper meaning and have a, a just a more a deeper understanding of it all and then it can become a really cool experience. So Jackie and Oliver please get a hold of me as soon as possible, either through the Facebook tab above or send me a private message here on YouTube because I don't have any contact information for you. Um, I had clipped the return address off of the package when the drums arrived, but I misplaced it. And I get several hundred messages a day, so if we corresponded at one time, I have not been able to find it. So please get a hold of me. I want, to, I want to speak to you guys, and I want to thank you once again for this, this gift here. It's, it was really touching, really touching to receive these. So I'm going to close this for now, folks. I'll touch base on more questions. I'll show more of the gifts that have come in on a future vlog series. I hope you all are having a great day. I'll see you again. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did and you'd like to see more of The Cabin Life, please click the subscribe button so that you can follow along with future updates. All the best to you, and God bless.